Hey you guys, hope all is well. This is a product review. Um, sometimes y'all know I'll come and do a review on some products. Um, some that I like and some probably that we don't like. Go check out all them videos from last year and on and on. Y'all will learn some good things and some things that wasn't so good. But anyway, this is a... Okay, let me start out. Uh, my our baby, uh, we have to use gluten-free and no wheat and all that kind of stuff. Um, plus, for myself, right now, I can't eat any gluten or any wheat because I am using a parasite clean. Uh, but this is the flour. I think this flour was maybe six, maybe five to seven dollars. <clears throat> this is a waffle and pancake mix, as you can see. Now, what I did, it says, and maybe this is the problem why that I'm having, um, we can't use eggs with the baby. And maybe I'll make this with eggs and see what happens. But anyway, you're supposed to add egg and water, right? Um, this is gluten-free, wheat-free, soy-free, corn-free, potato, peanut, tree nut, dairy, and casein free. But with this, you're supposed to add two eggs, two teaspoons, tablespoons of oil, and some water or rice milk. And add it to the dry mix and mix well. Now, for us, because we're not using eggs, I use a banana, which banana is, you can use a banana in a replacement or applesauce or whatever, um, or flaxseed. I can't use flaxseed with the baby either, so <clears throat> I use the banana. We have used bananas in other recipes or applesauce, and it comes out very good. But with this flour, we've tried it with applesauce, and we tried this with banana. And we used it twice, and my baby didn't like it at all. Like, I didn't like it. I didn't like the consistency of it. The inside of it is, like, gooey, and uh, it's just, it's not a good combination with this flower here. They have other flowers. I'm not promoting them or anything. This is just a review on this product. I haven't tried any other products, um, but this get two thumbs down because uh, my baby, she's three years old, She's uh, she can't eat a whole lot, and potatoes, she can't have no potatoes, I love your concept, if you guys look at this video, can y'all add some other type of flour, or, and the ingredients is sweet brown rice, tapioca flour, arrowroot, arrow rice milk powder, cream of tart, Bacon soda salt and ground vanilla beans, and you you read it, you can understand everything. Simple and plain, non-GMO, and all of that awesomeness. But the product stinks. This get two thumbs down from my three-year-old, and also two thumbs down from mommy and big sister. It's just it just it didn't flow. It didn't it didn't. Go right. The cook looked good. It was all. It looked. The batter looked good and everything. But the finished product, it was just gooey in the inside. So I would not recommend you guys spend your money to buy this product. You probably will come out better making your own flour mix. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try maybe some quinoa flour or some other type of flour to add with the rice and maybe that'll give it a better consistency. Or maybe you guys at this company can make it and I will buy it. I will because who wants to be in the kitchen mixing stuff, you know? So if you guys can do that, that'll be awesome. And I don't know them. They didn't pay me to do no review. I paid for this at Whole Foods. Whole Foods or nutritional, neutral, by one of those health stores, but most likely it was Whole Foods, but anyway, um, that's my review on that, I wouldn't highly, I would not recommend it at all, and unless you guys like gooey middle um, pancakes, 
Most people like their pancakes fluffy, light. No, you don't get that at all. Thousand Roses. Be blessed.